guys. On the tube shot. Get in there. Get over here. Yes! First fish I've caught on my new technique. Today I'm heading out on a solo mission in an effort to catch a monster fall five fish limit. My name is Avery Rose. I got him! Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, huge. it's over! I'm a small town girl from Canada, and sport fishing has been my passion since as long as I can remember. Back to back domination! Your Bassmaster Classic Champion! Learn with me as I team up with pro anglers from my region in an effort to inspire the next generation. Production assistance for Hooked is provided by Smokercraft, the first family of boats. Yamaha, revs your heart. Shimano. And by Humminbird and Minkota. A little over a year ago, the world changed in ways that none of us could have expected. I went from sharing a boat with some of the best anglers in Canada to being landlocked and eventually having to spend a lot of time on the water by myself. This forced me to get creative, to learn new techniques on my own, and to gain confidence in myself as an angler. Today, I'm taking you along for the ride as I continue to explore the great fishery Lake Erie has to offer all by myself. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fucked. I am out here today and we are going to be doing a little bit different of an episode. Usually I go out with a pro angler and they teach me how to target a specific species of fish a certain way or I take out a special guest and I teach them tips that I have learned from a professional angler. But this year has been a pretty crazy year. Um, with COVID and everything, I haven't been able to see and go out with as many anglers as normal. Uh, I've been unable to see certain people. So I have done more fishing by myself this year than I ever have. So today I wanna take you guys along with me and show you a day on the water all by myself. My goal is to catch five fish today. It is late November. The fish are usually bigger and more willing to eat, but there was a little bit of a cold front last night, so I don't know what to expect, uh, but hopefully I can hook into them. Let's get going. Okay, so we are at the very first spot. Right now we're in like 41 feet, but we're coming up to a big, huge rock shoal. This time of year in the fall, these fish like to stack up on these shoals and on these deep edges, and they love to eat. They're stocking up for winter. They're eating as much as they can, and um, it's a perfect time of year to catch these fish because they're like football size, they're humongous. Oh, there's something. Two fish there. Yeah, okay. We are on top of fish now, so we're gonna spot lock. Because we are marking them. So I'm gonna pull out all the rods I have dragged. I've got a drop shot, I've got handy dandy blade bait, and I have a rhythm wave on a sleek jig. They're all great baits, but I think I'm going to start with my blade bait because 
we're right on top of the fish, and I've yet to catch a fish on my blade bait. Oh, fish on! No way! No! No, I didn't get a good hook set on him. No. Oh, he went back down. There's a couple, there's a couple. Come on, come on. I think he's gone. I think I stung him. For some reason, they just are not reacting to the blade bait how I want them to. So I'm gonna throw down a drop shot real quick and see if the change will make them eat. Oh, there's a big fish on the, on the graph. Might have to keep on moving, find a new spot, because they aren't even reacting to the drop shot, which shocks me. Okay, instead of letting the wind push me, you, I might use the electric motor and do something called strolling, which is basically it's using the electric motor to move you around instead of letting the wind drift you. And there you go. Now let's stroll out about, we're gonna go four. Fish on! Yeah, baby! Fish on on the sleek jig. Oh my goodness, that fish hit so hard. Don't jump. Still got the drop shot in. And we got fish number one so far. Let's get the net out. Get over here, buddy. Get over here. Get in there. Let's go! Fish number one is in the boat. He is a chunky looking thing. Woo! Lake Erie football sized smallmouth. What a pretty fish. Gotta love Lake Erie smallmouth. We are on our way to a good bag. Oh, I pinned him, man. He's not coming off. In the live well he goes. Catch his buddies now. Let's just try and catch a five fish limit. I just need four more. A flurry. That's a fish. Fish number two on the drop shot. I literally was just going to say I am surprised that drop shot has not caught a fish yet. And as I said that, as I was saying that, the fish bit the drop shot. I'm just going to turn the boat this way a little bit, taking my mitts off. It's getting serious now, guys. Let's get the net out. Number two, get in the net, is landed on the drop shot. He's not even very long. But man, he's got a thick belly on him. And here we go. Let's go catch some more. So, before we started strolling, I was talking about how a change in speed can make a big difference. So we were going only like 0.6 miles per hour and uh, that gives the fish more time to think about the bait and if they want to eat it or not. Now that we're strolling, we're going about one mile per hour, one and a half miles per hour, and um, this is giving them less time to think and they can react to it quicker. And that, I, I think that's why I just caught that last fish because we had been dragging over that exact same area um, going over tons of fish, but they just, they weren't eating. So like I said, I think that speed made a big difference. And the cool thing about strolling is I can really weave and go to my specific waypoints and target key areas of where the fish are a lot easier than I would if I was just letting the wind push me and, and drift. Oh, I just got bit on that, and now I got a fish on, fish on the drop shot. Oh, this feels like a bigger fish, oh my. No, please don't tell me he, oh, he jumped. But he didn't come off. Okay, let's put spot lock on, so we don't keep on moving. Oh, it's a nice fish. Should've seen the rod almost went 
flying out of the rod holder. Get over here. Nope, don't jump, don't jump. In you get, in you go. Number three is landed on the drop shot. Once again, a big Lake Erie football smallie. Oh, look at this beautiful fish. This will definitely help towards our final five fish limit. In you go, buddy. In you go. So, I decided that I would change up a couple things. So, first thing I'm gonna change is the color of my rhythm wave that's on my sleek jig because I haven't caught a fish on it in a while. I'm gonna switch it to a green pumpkin pepper color. The gobies here in Lake Erie, they're like a black color, close to this color, so I decided that I'd switch it to this. And these smallies love their gobies. The next thing I'm gonna do might sound really weird to you. I've never actually tried it before, but I thought it would be a cool idea. So I'm gonna put a tube on the drop shot and use it as a drop shot bait. You might think I'm crazy, but you know what? It could work. So we might find a new technique today, guys. Number four, number four. What do I call this? On the tube shot? Tube shot, drop shot, plus a tube jig? Tube shot. Uh, he's pretty heavy. Oh, there he is. Don't jump, don't jump. That's a big fish. That's a nice fish. Oh my goodness. That's a nice fish. It is a giant, giant on the tube shot. Guys, get over here. No, don't jump. No, no, no. I can't, I just, I can't. I need a moment of silence. Well, we know it works. Fish! On the tube shot. Once again, this time I'm not gonna lose him. Hopefully. Feels pretty heavy. He's not peeling a whole lot of line, but he's not like moving. Get in there, get over here. Yes! First fish I've caught on my new technique. And look at how he ate that. Hooked right in the top of the mouth. We're almost to our limit. And then it will be time to do some upgrading. Oh! Fish once again on the tube shot. Let's shut constant off. I've almost got number five, baby. I'm going to the back to fight this fish. He's coming straight towards the boat. Oh no, I don't want it to get caught in my other line. Now that he sees the boat, he's, he's fighting back. Get in there, yes, right into the net he went. Fish number five, I officially have caught my limit. And look how he ate that right in the top of the mouth is where I hooked him. He was not getting off. Fish is ready to go into the box. Oh yeah, baby. Now, all we have to do is upgrade you little guys. And catch some bigger ones. Okie dokie. We need to find some big fish so that we can get rid of the little ones that are in the live well. We're going on a mission. 
we may end up going back to our original spot, but that's okay. Sometimes you leave fish to go find fish, and then you go, end up going back to where you were catching them in the first place. It's all part of a tournament. Spot number two, we didn't really find much, so we're gonna head to spot number three and see if we're, we mark anything over there. Oh, I marked three, four, four fish. So, I'm marking fish. The spot locked on top of them. Now it's time to catch them. No. Yeah, I need a lighter. Unless this is a fish. Oh my gosh, it's a fish! Oh my goodness! I thought I was snagged on a rock, but no, I have a fish on! <laughs> that was crazy! Oh, I'm gonna have to grab my net. I gotta keep it tight. Bring it back here. Oh gosh, I'm scared. He's under the bowl, and I think this guy could be an upgrade. So I gotta be careful, don't. You dare get over here. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Oh, I'm so nervous. I think he's hooked pretty good, but I still, I just, I don't trust it. So, oh no, I have too much line up still. Need to go in a little bit more. Where is it? Get in there. Get, no, 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 no. Get, get your butt over here. the sleek jig, and I think this guy is an upgrade. This is the size of fish. We are looking forward to upgrade our box. Woo let's go! Yes. Number four is the smallest fish. We had an upgrade. Now let's let this little guy go. He's just over three, so. I haven't caught a fish under three. Let's catch your big friend. We don't have a lot of time left, but we're gonna keep on fishing and try and get maybe one or two more upgrades and see what our total weight is. I think it's pretty good though. I still can't believe I thought that fish was a rock. Fish on. Oh yeah, this is a fish, this is a fish. Feels like a good one too. Oh, it's a nice one. It's way far out there. I just saw him jump. Whew, this is making my arms tired. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come to the back. I just gotta make sure I got, I gotta make sure I got it tight. Make sure it lines tight so that I don't lose her. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that will help. That will really help. Get up here, get in there, in the net. In the net, no, in the net. It's tangled up with my other line. No, get in there. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Another fish on the sleek jig. And I think right here, this guy is an upgrade. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this fish. This is just insanity. <laughs> And look at how she is hooked. Oh, barely hooked. That could have popped out any point. This, my friends, is definitely an upgrade. Oh yeah, baby! Let's weigh this guy and see which one we're taking out of the box. Much he weighs. Oh my gosh. 524, this guy is a freaking monster. This is close to my PB. Smallmouth bass on Lake Erie. Caught him. This is the Erie footballs that we were looking for today. Woohoo! Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> Let's put him into the box. Number six has got to go pretty much have a two pound upgrade right here. 
which is pure insanity. So let's let this guy go and see if we can catch any more upgrades. Well, guys, it is 4.45. The sun is setting. It is time to have our way in. I'm excited to see what my bag would be in a tournament if I was fishing a real one today. So today I came out here and I didn't really have a goal for a specific weight. I was just coming out here to have some fun and try and catch my biggest bag of fish that I could. And uh, my goal, like I said, was five fish and I definitely succeeded at my goal. Now, let's see what our bag is. It is 20, 2204. 21, 21, 61 is what we're gonna say. The final weight of my bag is today. And I am so proud of myself. Oh, I'm shaking, that's so crazy. I had an incredible day to say the least. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I did filming this. It was so much fun and uh, I caught some Lake Erie football sized smallmouth bass today. It truly is an amazing fishery. If you ever get the chance, especially this time of year, the fall time when these fish are eating a lot, you really should take that opportunity. Come experience this amazing fall fishery for yourself. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Hooked. Please stay tuned and of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. Now let's release these giants so we can come back for more one day. Ooh.